Coach, coach, how was first period? Oh, man, it was a struggle. Uh, a lot of sleepers in there, very distracted young men and young women uh, getting distracted on the computer. Um, hopefully that they can focus in and, and have a better day. But it was a struggle this morning. How about second period? What are you expecting for your game plan? I'm hoping to bring some more energy, hoping they can bring some more energy, you know, get that tiredness out after first period and uh, really bring the A game for our algebra class today. Awesome. All right, go. Catch them, Tiger. Catch them. Thank you. So, Miss Tang, did you know that Spanish is an intellectual language? That's true, but biology is the study of life. But... Oh, wait! Maestro Mills, look! We're filming! <gasps> Buenos dias, Hawks! I'm Maestro Mills. <laughs> and I'm Miss Tang. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Hawk, Hawk Talk. Talk. So, I heard you were in Faculty Follies tomorrow night. That's true, and you are as well. In fact, Hawks, make sure you come support us this Friday. See you there. <laughs> Faculty Follies, a night of super epic group dances, group skits with all of your favorite teachers, singing, some sad songs, but all great ones. And finally, an epic flash mob to wrap everything up. Join us this Friday in the pack. Tickets are $10 and all proceeds go to senior scholarships. We have many hardworking students here on campus. And one of them has really stood out. It's time to honor one of our seniors. Here's January's Senior of the Month. Three adjectives I would use to describe Emily Sweet. Absolutely the best. Emily Sweet does tons of work on all of the videos that get made for assemblies. She works with Hawk Talk on um, filmmaking projects and all the things we do. She's absolutely one of the hardest working students in the class. So I met Emily in middle school and we've been best friends ever since. I've loved being friends with her because I feel like I can share so many experiences with her and we just like have so many of the same interests in like TV shows and movies. She's just been such a great friend to like have around. The uh, promo for Sadie's, the promo for the homecoming dance, the promo for the PYL USD winter formal dance, the Founders Award at FilmEd for her video Rad Camp. Emily Sweet is just an outstanding all-round student. She does absolutely everything that you could ask in this class. Three adjectives I would use to describe Emily are hardworking, trustworthy, and talented. She is someone who I look up to in everything that I do. I think that she is the best friend that anyone could ever ask for. She's just such a like great person to talk to and she's always there for you and she works hard and puts 110 percent into literally everything she does and i know i can always count on her congratulations emily sweet I'm being january senior of the month helpful compassionate always down to help Haley's always been one of my most motivated students and has always been producing work sort of at the top of any student in her grade level. And she continues to improve and, and do better every year. There'll be like juniors who come on their set for the first time. They're not entirely confident. They don't know what to do. But then they'll like just kind of gravitate towards Haley and they'll watch what she does and they'll start picking up really fast what to do because like she just knows what she's doing all the time. I think there was one time where I had ended like a like kind of like a thing with a boy that like I really liked and I was telling her and without like any hesitation she drove over with ice cream and she tells me she's like okay let's talk about it she's just like so selfless it's just it's like admiring I have this friends giving every year and Haley like out of nowhere was just like let's go to the movies just such a fun time and I feel like Haley was like really the one who kind of you know, got everyone to like get out of their comfort zone and just like have fun. Congratulations, Haley. I'll be January senior of the month. So, Miss Tang, what's an insect's favorite sport? Mm, I don't know. Cricket. <gasps> oh dear. Let's leave the sports <laughs> up to Jock Talk. Hi, I'm Kiana Harms, and you're watching Jock Talk. On Tuesday, our boys' volleyball team went up against Green Lutheran and won a score of 3 to 0. They compete in the main fair tournament against St. John Bosco on Friday. Good luck! Last week, our boys' baseball team went up against Sonora in the Lorea tournament and won 11 to 1. They then played against Martin Luther High School on Tuesday and won 2 to 1. The next game is on Friday at Villa Park. First pitch starts at 3 o'clock. Good luck! Last week, our boys' tennis team took on Villa Park and gave it their all, but unfortunately lost 5 to 13. Their 
Their next game is today against Foothill at home. Head on out to the courts and cheer them on. On Tuesday, our girls lacrosse team went up against San Juan Hills, but unfortunately lost 20 to five. Their next game is this Saturday at Santa Monica at 11.45 a.m. Good luck. On Monday, our softball team went up against El Toro and emerged victorious with a score of 6-2. They will kick off the Wilson Tournament this weekend against Roosevelt. The first pitch is at 10.35 a.m. Good luck. Last week, our swim team went up against Corona. Our boys came out with victorious with a score of 91-77, and our girls unfortunately lost 77-92. Their next meet is on Friday against Canyon. First race begins at 3 p.m. at Canyon. Head on up and cheer them on. On Saturday, our winter drumline competed at Rancho Cucamonga High School and took first place, scoring an 80.9. Up next for the group is an SCPA show at Gray Oak High School in Temecula. On Saturday, Winter Guard competed against Monrovia and took first place with a score of 77.4. A special congrats to Ashley Bello for earning a first place in the solo flag competition. You can catch their next performance this week at Rancho Cucamonga High School. They take the floor at 9 p.m. on Saturday. Good luck. Thank you for watching Jock Talk. Catch you next week for some more sports updates. Hey, Maestro Mills, what's the best thing to do if you're cold in an empty room? Put on a sweater? No, you have to stand in a corner because it's 90 degrees. Ja, ja, ja. <laughs> oh, Maestro Mills, you gotta stop putting in those extra A's. <laughs> Any students interested in the tourism or hospitality industry should go see Mrs. Hamilton in the Career Center ASAP. Join us in the 3Tron on Tuesdays. We'll pull three more names for a chance at the moonshot. And $100 next Thursday at lunch in the Joe Rye Gym. Faculty Follies will be at 7 p.m. this Friday in the pack. Tickets are on sale in front of the Little Theater for $10. And the money will be donated towards senior scholarships. Fullerton College is visiting us today at break. Seniors, check out the new scholarship bulletin online or by the Career Center. Many new local scholarship opportunities have been added. Attention juniors, the 2020 Youth Leadership Institute application is out now. It is open until March 15th. Fullerton College counselors will be on campus on March 31st. Seniors planning on attending Fullerton College should sign up with Mrs. Hamilton to meet with them. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes Club is hosting its next huddle today at lunch in the Joe Rye Gym. Come and get inspired by Golden Hawk alumni and former MLB player Matt Luke. Auditions for El Dorado's choirs, vocal ensemble, advanced women's, and men's choir are open today and tomorrow for everyone. Students may sign up online or in the choir room for an audition time slot. See Mr. Yoder for more information. Calling all gamers, there's a meeting next Thursday. Mr. Eldo is in the pack this Saturday at 7 p.m. Tickets are on sale for $5. Well, I'm Miss Tay. And I'm Maestro Mills. See you next week, Hawks. Hasta la próxima. Bye, Embology.